Hello and welcome. I am so excited to have you with me today. It's my first anniversary of my YouTube channel and I am very excited about the whole thing. My first video um, featured one money box and it was this one over here. It's a replica money box of Queen Elizabeth's crown and so I thought it'd be really nice to go back a little bit further as I do have a money box that goes back almost a generation in the royal steps. So I will explain all about it. So there were two princes. One was Prince Edward, but he was known as David. And the other one was the younger one was Prince George. Prince George fell in love and married Lady Elizabeth Bo Bowes Lyon in 1923. He had no desire to be the king. His brother, David, as they called him, but Edward was his full title. David um, was going to be the king. He was much loved by the people. And on his 16th birthday, when his father had just taken over his role as king, he became the Prince of Wales. He was just 16 when he did that. He fought in the First World War and everybody loved him very much, including his brother. So the two brothers grew up and sadly the king died in 19, January 1936 and King Edward then became King of England, well, Britain. And he, as I say, was well loved. Everybody loved him. But unfortunately, he felt he had fallen in love with a married woman who then got divorced. And it isn't possible for, well, it wasn't possible at that time for a prince or king to marry a divorced woman. So he, much to his brother's horror, at the end of uh, nineteen. 36 he abdicated in December and George his brother became George the sixth of Great Britain George was horrified he was very happy never to be in the royal limelight he was shy he was quiet he had a stammer and if you've ever seen the king's speech you know all this so anyway they went ahead and had a coronation and this was, I don't think it needs the tourney thing, this was one of the souvenirs that you could buy. It's got the king and queen. It's got a lovely little handle for carrying. The king and queen, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret, and there's the slot. We no longer have a key for it, and it's very, very worn, but it is also very, very old. And had a lot of use by the look of it. And probably was a child, belonging to a child. Um, this, well, I was given, I'm lying, this I bought on eBay. I was thinking of the other one. This I bought on eBay about 15 years ago. And it cost me something like £2 plus package and posting. Because the person who was selling it says it's in awful condition. It may be in awful condition, but it's mine. And I would have given a lot more than £2 for it just for the history of it, which is amazing. So anyway, there it is. So he reigned and his children grew up. And on the 6th of February 1952, the king died. Suddenly, shockingly, and the whole nation was in mourning for ages. Elizabeth at the time was married and had gone to, I don't think it was Europe, I think it was somewhere very far away abroad, very hot, um, because they were staying in a little bungalow and they were riding and doing all exciting things, which was lovely for the young couple. And then she got the message and the message simply said, sadly, the king is dead, long live the queen. So Elizabeth, heartbroken, had to come back and take up her role as monarch. Now this happened in February 52, but the coronation didn't happen until June 1953, which was a year 
and two days before I was born. So she became queen with Prince Philip as her um, prince consort, I guess. I don't know what they called him, really. And this is the one that was given to me. Someone said to me, I, I've heard you collect money boxes. And I said, yeah, I do. And he said, do you want this old rubbishy thing? He said, it's broken, which it is, because there was a key. And I don't know if it's been prized open or whether they've just forced these into the closed position so that it won't close. Because once it's closed, it won't ever open because there isn't a key. The people who owned it, Young people, I believe. I don't know if I can show you that. I'm trying my very best, but it's not very clear. It isn't very clear for me. But it looks like one of them has tried to write their name or their initial on it. And on the bottom, there is the slot, and that is for pound notes. Or five pound notes, if you're really rich, which they rolled up and put in. Again, I believe that was owned by a child, by the state of it. So there we have it. Finishing off with the Royal Crown, which if you haven't seen the first video, do go back and look at it. And if you can't find it, drop me a comment in the link and I will um, send you the link for it. I didn't mean that. I said drop. I meant to say drop me a comment and I will tell you how to find it. So anyway, there we have it. Three remarkable mementos of times past. We'll give that one a coin, we'll give this one a coin and we'll finish off by giving this one a coin which is usually the last thing, oh that didn't work very well, wrong size coin obviously. Um, normally I finish at this point but before I finish I want to thank you all who've been watching me over the last year. Even those that have just joined me, thank you for joining. Please subscribe because I love it when I get a new subscriber. It really cheers me up. In case you can't read these, over 300 money boxes shown, over 150 videos and recently launched shorts. First anniversary celebration, Pam's Miss Piggy money box collection. Thank you so much number one anniversary for all your likes views subscriptions and support thank you for watching couldn't have done it without you and don't be afraid to subscribe nothing bad happens it just lets you know when another one of my videos are out thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i'm sorry i've gone on a bit long tonight but take care and i hope you'll come back soon bye